In this video, I'll be customizing the single blog page. So here I'm going to show you how you can customize the single post page using Astra Pro module. In our previous part, I have completed the blog and maybe it was too fast. I'm not sure if it's too fast, then you can uh, slow down that video. But um, I will try my best to make sure it's not going to too fast and too slow. Just uh, make it minimal and uh, follow the standard flow. Let's uh, jump into my computer. And our single post page looks like this. Here I'm gonna customize this page and I'll be adding some more features here. To do so, you have to navigate to customize. And let's, let's open the page into a new tab so that I can view the changes here. So it doesn't have the featured image and it looks like this. So let's make it nice. You have to navigate to customize blog and then single post. So here you can see the most important part that I want to share with you, which is the post title. When I click over here, there is two different layouts. So I'm going to use their layout two. From layout two, it looks like this. And if I go to design, Okay, so I'm gonna add a featured image here basically. Let's click here again. And here is the featured image. So when I click to activate the featured image, it will be displaying here. But when I click over here, as you can see, use as background. That's very important. So I'm gonna use this as a background. And you can add a overlay background color here. Let's make it a little bit darker here and let's change the opacity let's change it a little bit more it looks perfect now now what i'm going to do i'm going to add some spacing here inside this area so i'm going to add a minimum height let's add and let's change the title color to white color and the other comments and other color it looks perfect so you can change the font size but i have already added them globally but i'll be showing you the design tab just um, let me complete the general tab first here inside the structure you can add or enable the breadcrumbs let's enable the breadcrumb and it will be displaying here but it, it's not looking so good i'm gonna disable this one and if I scroll down, you can see the read more and the other meta information. You can change the alignment to left, center, and the right. By default, it will be displaying at the center. And you can change that vertical alignment as well. But you can change it top, you can change it or place it at the bottom, or you can change it to the middle. Now let's move into the general tab here. So when you want to customize the post title or the title area you have to navigate here but when you want to customize the post area you have to navigate here from here you can change the container layout i'm going to add a sidebar here and layout i can use the box layout but by default it's a box layout already and if i scroll down i can change the feature image size i can disable the author and a uh, post pagination so as you can see, there is post, previous post, and the next post. Basically, you can disable this one, or you can load previous post automatically. You can enable this one. Basically, when you enable these features, you your user will be able to view the next post automatically when he or she scroll down at the bottom of your post, or a certain part of your post. You can also change the featured image padding as well and the most important thing which is social sharing options this is by default added inside the astra pro when i click over here it will be enable the social share options here as you can see it looks like this so i can simply uh, change the alignment to center right or i can add it on the left side of the window so let me show you here you can see uh, the icon position. 
I can change left content and basically most of the time you will be able to see the social share that places here at the left side and it looks perfect now I can change the color so when I click over here the social share you can see there is a couple of other options you can add reddit you can add whatsapp let's add whatsapp here and let's change or you can add label as well so when I click over here it will be displaying as a label but it's not looking so good I'm gonna disable this one and you can change okay basically the icon position is already have set up here and that's it for the social sharing but when I click on design there is all the options like if you take a look at here the first the first section called social sharing basically it's all about social sharing you can change the color type you can change it from official to custom color you can change its background color you can change the icon size icon spacing so let's add something here so I'm gonna change it to different color and let's make it black and a little bit transparent and see how it looks like so it's not looking so good here when I go to other page but uh, it's okay we can remove this one but we if you want you can keep this one as well and let's add some margin here so if I add margin top it change its position left change its position so it's very useful you do not have to use any additional plugin or any third party plugin for making a social uh, share features inside your website and there's lots of things like post spacing outside and inside a space that's very useful as well but the goal was here to show you the social share options and that's it so there is only last one thing that is related post if you want to display the related post uh, before enabling the related post let me disable the social share background color it's not looking so good here now when i go to general and here you can see the enabled related post when i click related post features it will enable in other sections called related post that comes with a tons of features here let's say you can change the grid level from two to three you can change the query you can change the structure you can change other features like title meta information comments like a post that you have uh, shown here on the above basically you can change the all the information that previously i have shared with you inside the blog pro module and you can also enable the post excerpt as well so that's it and if i go to design you can see there is some other information it wasn't there previously but right now it's visible the related post section so it's not visible here because we have added or enabled that section so there are sometimes when you have enabled certain part inside your website it will be also enable other sections or other customizer features inside your website it will be very helpful for the user to optimize the code and also uh, the design for this website so that's all and I think I have gone very fast I'm not sure but uh, if you have any suggestion then please let me know because um, I, I start creating video after a long time and that's all for today I'll be uh, coming up with another video or in the series tutorial thank you so much